guys, welcome to Priceless B Movies. I'm your host, Colin Price. And I remember, I think it was either late 2001 or early 2002, when I first started seeing trailers for this movie. I sat in a theater, I think it was like before Joyride or Jeepers Creepers, like something like that. I remember sitting in the theater and they ran the trailer for this film. And as I'm watching it, I'm very quickly just getting this vibe and I'm like, okay, so it's Event Horizon on an old cruise ship. Turns out that's not actually that bad of an idea. Especially when you consider that Event Horizon is basically just the shining in a spaceship. Everyone borrows from someone eventually. Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship stars Gabriel Byrne and Julian Margulies as the two people who run this salvage operation out in the ocean. And they get this tip that there's this huge structure that was found in the middle of the water. So they decide, okay, we'll check it out. They go out there and they find that there is this large ship. And it's actually quite famous. It was it was something like the early 60s it disappeared without a trace. They decide we're going to get on here and check this out. Maybe we can figure out what happened to this ship in the first place. Then, of course, they board the thing, and it doesn't seem like there's a single soul aboard. <laughs> of course, the title should really give away any surprise here. Now, I know that seems like a pretty simplistic and cut-and-dry telling of what this movie is about, but honestly, for a film like this, there are actually some spoilers and some twists and turns, especially in the second half of the movie. So I am going to kind of leave it at that as far as explaining the plot. I know that the movie is a little over 20 years old, but there's always the chance that someone's watching this and has not actually seen the film. So Dark Castle released Ghost Ship about a year after 13 Ghosts. And, you know, when I talked about 13 Ghosts in my last video, I mentioned that one of the biggest issues I had with it is that it didn't really take its time. I didn't feel like it really fleshed out the ghosts very much, or even the characters very much. I felt like it was very much just an in-your-face, like I said a couple of times in that review, like a music video. It was all style and very little substance. Whereas with this movie, it's a huge contrast. This movie, there is a mystery to solve, and it takes its time. I think a lot of people remember Ghost Ship from the opening sequence, and I can't fault you for that because it's a real banger. But after that scene, it does take a while before anything else even relatively spooky happens again. So I could see some people kind of losing their patience with this. But I do think that it pays off in the end. The performances are pretty varied. I mean, they usually are in this kind of film. Gabriel Byrne's always good. Julianna Margulies is okay, too. I know that at the time this came out, my mom was really big into ER, so I kind of knew who Julianna Margulies was. And here she's kind of like this Ellen Ripley character. And that's perfectly fine. I just didn't think that she was all that interesting for a main character. I almost wish that the movie had followed Gabriel Byrne instead. But, eh, tomato, tomato. She does all right with it. One of the real standouts in the cast is a very young Emily Browning as one of the ghosts on the ship. She plays the spirit of a little girl who was unfortunately one of the victims in the massacre at the beginning of the film. She does very well conveying grief and sadness and kind of the sorrow that would come with being a spirit trapped in this really isolated place in the middle of the ocean. I thought she really did a fantastic job at conveying that. Something else I really love about this movie that I think is overlooked is the music. I really like the score in this film. I really like the score. All of the musical choices throughout the film, whether it's instrumental pieces or whether it's just you know songs that they chose to throw into the soundtrack, I thought that every music choice worked. And it really varies. You know, you have the score, which is instrumental. Sometimes there's these ethereal uh, voices kind of scattered throughout it that are really effective. Then you have, you know, like a couple of hard rock tracks thrown in because why not? It's a horror movie. But I really do think the soundtrack works. I think the soundtrack works in here better than it does in any other Dark Castle film. Getting into the negatives, the big one for me is that when you do get to the reveal of what happened on the ship, there is this really cool montage sequence kind of explaining everything that happened. But once you do get the reveal and you find out specifically like who is kind of behind everything that happened back when the ship was lost, I will say it's kind of underwhelming and I don't really buy the performance of the actor who's playing that character in the last 20 minutes. I feel like there had to have been someone better for this part. Look, it's not even the way that the character was written. It's just, it's hard for me to look at that character, look at that actor and think, oh yeah, this is this twisted, horrible person. I just didn't buy it. 
That being said, I think that's my only real gripe about this movie. I think that this film gets a little more flack than it really deserves. Yeah, it's kind of slow to start once you get past that opening five minutes. And yeah, once you get to the end, at least in my opinion, the reveal isn't great. But I do think that there are some individual scenes in here that are really good. The tension is really good. There is this constant tension throughout the film, as there should be. And once again, I really love the music in it. The set design is wonderful, too. They really spent a lot of time on this ship, on this cruise liner, making it look authentic and old and creepy. I'm going to go ahead and err on the safe side here, guys. Ghost Ship gets three stars. I like this film. I don't like it nearly as much as House on Haunted Hill, but next to that one, it might be my favorite Dark Castle film. That's my review of Ghost Ship. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Priceless B movies.